What's up, guys? Sure here. Uh, got an unboxing video. And this is another uh, box that I had waiting for me when I got home from from my super hunt. So um, it's from Cobra's TV Gaming. And I haven't opened it. It's still taped shut. You know what I mean? I haven't done anything to it. I, I mean, I, I think I know what's in here. I, well, at least I want to say I have an idea. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not sure. So, uh, well, let's get into it and see what's up. And uh, I'm, th I'm sure anything from Cobra is going to be absolutely insane. Because, uh, you know, if you guys haven't checked out Cobra's TV and Gaming, which I know most of my followers um, all watch his videos too. So, but, if you know, if you're new to it and, and you don't know uh, about Cobra's TV game, check it out. Absolutely check it out. Hey, you know, I, I, you know, I did an unboxing video just a little bit ago on, uh, on Cliff Yonkers and I'm totally sorry, Cliff. I, you know, I don't even know if you have a channel, buddy. I don't know, uh, what you go by or, or whatever. So, but, um, I suppose you guys, you know, if you know, if you guys know something, I don't know, um, check them out. Cause, uh, if I'm, if I haven't subbed you, Cliff, um, let me know what's up, man. I, I'll, I'll definitely sub you, dude, because, uh, you know, this this, uh, this is an awesome family. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I see what's going on in here. Man, Cobra, you, you're killing me, man. Holy cow. Uh, whew. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get into this. Okay, wow. Look at this, guys. Custom Vega, number nine. Um, I did finally see some of these down here, so that's cool. Um, Cobra, I'm going to have to wrestle through these, and whichever one's got better cards, and it looks like yours are dead mint. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep these for my set, and I'll, you know, I'll have to wheel swap the other ones, but check that out, guys. 67 Ford Coupe. Nice. <laughs> K5. Hey, you guys get the new buses over there yet? This thing's sweet. I got to open this one. Yeah, this one's coming out. Boom. And I have one of these open. But, you know, it's a plastic body. There's a the front. But I've never wheel swapped one. I want to wheel swap one really bad. So, Cobra, I'm going to wheel swap this one, buddy. I, you know what I mean? Like, I try and, you know, I'll open one. I, if it's something I like, which these I like, um, I try and open one. Keep one on card, and now that I'm, you know, trying to do a bunch of wheel swaps and stuff, um, I'm gonna wheel swap one, and of course I'll paint in those lights and see what if I can get some, uh, you know, some, some detail in on this guy because it's, you know, it's lots of big open real estate, and um, me and my horrible painting, uh, you know, I should be able to pull something off because it's relatively flat. So, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Oh, look, it's got a layer of dust on top. Bummer. That's all right, buddy. You know where you're going. <laughs> Woo. So, wait a minute. Didn't I get one of these? Uh-oh, look out, guys. Check out this. PJ sent me that, and it's still normal. Hmm. Well, it won't be normal for long. <laughs> this is awesome. Heck yeah. Uh, that's unreal. Holy cow. Now you're blowing my mind, dude. You're completely blowing my mind. I did not expect that. Cobra, man. Ooh. Man. Now you guys know that I wanted another one of these so I could open it. Um. What do you think? Should I? Should I? Duh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ha <laughs> ha. I am gonna save the card though. We'll save the card. Just cause that looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, I gotta have this open. Whoo! That is awesome. Man, thanks, Cobra. I had to rip it open, dude. I had to rip it open, man. This is awesome, buddy. Yeah, why didn't they? I'm gonna have to put some detail on that right there. That is super cool, man. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, did you notice that? 
Looks like the back wheels are skinnier and closer in together than the front ones. Of course, I guess we would never know that unless we ripped one open, right? Or we, I guess we didn't pay attention to the bottom of the coach. That is super insane, man. That, wow. That is awesome. Mm. Man, I'm going to find that buddy a little home. He's going to go, he's going to go cool man that's super cool i you know i, I could st stand there talk, talking about that forever nice look at that toys r us variation now you guys know i found some uh some toys r us um on the road i did find um i found two of those red chevelles overall and i did find two of these but this one uh the you know even though the card's dog-eared the other one I found is the card is really bad, so I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. I don't, you know, that's you guys have seen this, right? This is the one from last year, Toys R Us, and incidentally, um, which you know, a Cobra, you probably know this. They got a new aisle shipper at Toys R Us, and in that shipper is two of these and two of the Chevelles. I guess they re-issued uh, them along with the uh, what is that? I want to say that's D case, isn't it? D or D or E, I don't, or I don't know. It's one of the new cases, and in the, uh, surprisingly, a couple of these were tucked in them. You know, um, uh, on my ride, um, I didn't tell you guys in the other videos. I hit about if you include the two Toys R Us or the two WalMarts in my in my neighborhood, I hit 37 WalMarts um, total. I hit uh, four Toys R Us. Three Hobby Lobbies, uh, about 15 of each of Dollar General and uh, um, Family Dollars. Uh, what else did I go? Hit a bunch of Publix. Um, I didn't do a lot of Targets because Targets been kind of stalled out. But, uh, you know, we hit four or five of them. A um, couple of Kroger's. Um, but mostly Walmarts, you know what I mean? And uh, so... I got to see a lot of cars over and over again, and that's why I went ahead and, and grabbed all I could. So, you know, stuff like this, yeah, I did grab a couple, but yeah, yours is in way better shape than mine. So, T-Bucket. Now, see this, this new set here, I had to uh, I had a case raid to get these um, when I was out of town. Um, I was over in, like, uh, southern Alabama or whatever. But uh, and then when of course when I got back to Pensacola they had pegged uh, two you know two cases of them so I could have got them anyway but uh, so that's super cool that's that right there is gonna get a wheel swap to some real riders for sure now this one here Blastius Moto this is number two from last year um, I only have one of these and uh, I always wanted a wheel swap one and I happen to have some big. Uh, some big wheels you guys remember those bride of frankenstein cars well i'm still sitting on the bodies of two of them so i'm thinking maybe you know do a wheel swap on there and then i'll have extra big uh retro slots for something uh something different so that's cool that's gonna get us that's gonna get a swap now these <laughs> ah, he sent me two of these you're killing me man I don't even have one of these. I did happen to see uh, see some on the pegs, but I didn't buy them because you know they were pricey. And I, you know, I was hoping, you know, hopefully you didn't get taken to the cleaners on these, Cobra. Um, and ironically enough, uh, this is going to show my age. The first record I ever got was uh, um, Detroit Rock City, Kiss. Believe it or not. And my first cassette tape, which, you know, some of you guys don't even know what a cassette tape is. My first cassette tape was um, Sticks Paradise Theater. And my first 8-track, which I know most of you guys have never heard of, except for uh, older guys. You know, Dave and, Re Dave and Rebecca, um, an 8-track. <laughs> my first 8-track was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. So, you know, that, I'm off subject. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's super cool. And, uh, you know... Um, since I have more of these wheels, uh, Cobra, I'm not going to chop this up. That's, you know, I can't do that. I can't do that at all. That's, uh, and I, oh, I just now noticed the card art. Check out the card art. It says, uh, 73 decade of decibels. That's pretty cool. That's, that's super cool. So, yeah, so that's going to go with my, uh, um, pop culture. Because, you know, like, 
this guy here, you guys know I'm a highway hauler um, guy. I have one of these loose, don't have one carded. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one on card. And I know somebody down in Costa Rica who's his, his, his favorite band happens to be this. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll pass it along to, uh, to that to that cool guy I know down in Costa Rica. I'm not sure, but thanks, Cobra. Uh, you can never have enough enough of these, and you know, at the very least, uh, wow, I never thought about chopping one up, but I, I suppose I could uh, um, repaint it and uh, and redo the box, but I suppose that would be sacrilegious to ACDC because I'm a huge ACDC fan. <laughs> um, hence with me, I was in the t-shirt, so I don't know about that one. I'll have to ponder that. I, I, it seems like I would... I'd have, to, I'd have to answer for chopping one of those up. Plus, I mean, plus I'm a crazy highway hauler person. And uh, this one, I did get a couple of these. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, that these are going to be, uh, end up being kind of rare. So, um, and I love the power wagons. But you know what? I want a wheel swap one. I got a loose one in the house because I had to fit it in my luggage. So I'm thinking about chopping that one up and putting some uh, real riders with the chrome on it. So... Um, I'll hold on to that one too for right now, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let that one fly. But, uh, but yeah, you'll probably see me, um, wheel swap one of those. So, I guess that's all I got, guys. Um, Cobra, you're awesome, dude. <laughs> that's super cool. And I know, you, you know, I, I know you and me went back and forth on these cool classics a little bit, but dude, no sweat, man. And these are awesome because, uh, yeah, that, that baby right there is gonna get a wheel swap. For sure, that thing's super cool. I didn't grab any extra of that. Um, and now that I look at it, I wish I had. And what's up with them making 67s? Why can't I get a 68? You know what I mean? A 68 coupe, the same as my uh, same as my first car. I mean, come on, Mattel. All right, hook me up with a 68 coupe. Then I can paint it brown and put Krager wheels on it and stuff and make it look like the one I used to drive when I was 14 or 15. I don't know. Well, that's all I got, guys. I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm just getting used to being back here at the house again. Uh, um, I wish my little super hunt had never ended because that thing was absolutely awesome. I had so much fun. I, you know, I got to to travel all around, and, and you guys know you've seen my videos. So um, I pretty much killed the bumper crop. And you, you would think, you know, out of all those WalMarts I went to, I didn't find a single Homer. I didn't find a single Super at all. Um, I did find some regular rescue duty hunts and stuff like that, but I just, for some reason, no, no supers, you know, like no Chevelles, you know, I guess I was a day late to most of them. They all looked like brand new dump ins to me, or they were stuffed with Zamax and, uh, and rescue duties, but no supers. So I don't know what the deal was that with that was, but, uh, yeah, not a single Homer, no carryover, you know what I mean? You know, I, I'm supposed that people that worked there were bagging them or whatever, but. Oh, well, um, I guess that's all I got for right now, guys, and, until I do a few customs, uh, you know, I'll zap out a few cars for you for sure, and, uh, you know, Cobra, I'm not going to chop it up, I do want to do a wheel swap on it, but the, for right now, I, I, you know, maybe I will, I don't know, you can't really see the front wheel, so all I could do is put real riders on the back end of it, you know, and paint in the, uh, paint in the taillights and, uh, paint in the, um, the uh horn on the top but you never know i have done stranger things to die cast for sure <laughs> so uh that's all i got guys talk to you later see it